Bear claw, bear claw, boys. That's how we open our shotguns here in Wisconsin. Hey, Ethan, fuck you. No, Jackson, I'm family friendly, so I'll filter this. <laughs> <laughs> Be a shame if some hot horse girl found me with all these alfalfa bales. Just kidding, those bitches are fucking nuts. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Does anyone else find functional alcoholics fascinating? Like, these crazy motherfuckers will drink a 30-pack of the most disgusting beer on earth, get blackout drunk, and then wake up the next morning at 6.30 a.m. and go to a manual labor job in the direct sunlight where they work their ass off all day. The only thing that they'll consume is like a gas station hot dog and Mountain Dew, and they will be... Old boy got really pissed off at me over this one time, but he doesn't know. We built Cummins in barns along the road, damn near in the river. It don't matter. That's how you check a push rod. Don't matter if they get a little bit dirty, you wipe them off. Just look for the one that wobbles. Well, that's kind of fucked. Customer come in, says, put new struts on my car. Gotcha. We'll, we'll do your coil over kit, no big deal. You got the nice aftermarket bumpers. Halos aren't my favorite, but they work for some people. 20s and 35s. Eh. Them, I don't know why they're even on here like, my Jesus, go away. And it's a Suburban. But the one thing that kills me, what are those, my guy? Like, dude, come on now. I sent some homemade stuff going on here, fellas. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Um. That don't look right. Only a landscaper will know why I'm doing this. when she asks you to put a cat door in the corner. So you make one. Well, fuck. Fun thing, fun thing to do when you go back roading is you find these rain collectors on the side of these fences, right? And you go put water in there. Fuck with the fa farmers. Watch this, watch this, hold on. I ain't got no water, but I got beer. They're gonna be like, God dang, it rained four inches of beer last night. <laughs> oh, that's a good buck. Okay, watch out, lots of bear around here. Yeah! Oh, good shot, right yeah! in the dome. Prepping my daughter's house for Hurricane Ida. Paint valves to block the wind. As always, stay safe, Cajuns.
So my friends asked me, hey man, how come you can't come out and drink with us, man? I say, man, that's because I got a drug dealer that comes to my work every day and he's like, hey bro, look, I got a special today on some sockets. <laughs> and you know, and they got cool names like Snap. You know, I got another guy named Marco, he comes by. And then if you've got no money, and they're like, it's okay, man, just $25 a week. Biden, you're an old man, con man, bleeding with the herd, sniffing hair and groping kids all day. You got cloth on your face, sheltered in place. Now you want Kamala because of her race. We Okay, guys, so we've got a rancher friend who's having problems at his ranch. Every time they go to ship cows out, they're like multiple cows short, five, six cows shorter than what they're expecting to ship out. And um, he asks his ranch hand that's in charge, he's like, what in the world is going on? Why are we always several cows short when we're shipping out? And his ranch hand told him here recently, he's like, well, you told me to round them up. It all started when my mom met my dad, and they fell in love, and they had me. Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life, it's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. He likes boys. Really wants to turn that dirty weapon in. After a night at the ranch rodeo, this rope is trash. Why do I have this many ropes? Why did I take a white shirt as a backup? I decay how the sand got in my boots. Hey, yeah, we fancy like Applebee's on a date night. Got that bourbon street stay with the Oreo shake and some whipped cream on the top two. Two straws, one check, girl, I got you. Bougie like Natty in the styrofoam. Sweet squeaking in the truck bed all the way home. When you send down tires on the tire belt and try and get there before they fall. dog that I've ever seen Got a nose that can smell a two-day trail he Boy, you talking about somebody just had a heart attack? Whew. Well, I literally just stepped on him
What you doing? But I do it Come on. Lot. I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. No big. I feel like pop. I shoot a shot. <laughs> I'm coming in. What? What? You excited? Ew. You been rolling in the mud. You going nasty. You can't park there. She got too close so far and now I'm lost in the world trying to find me a better way. Wishing I was deep, deep in the water somewhere. Got the blue sky breeze and it don't seem fair. Only worry in the world is a tide gonna reach my chair. Sun well, this used to be steep hill. Now it's a creek. Um, there's a whole community up there, like a thousand people, and now they don't even have a road to get out. You know, calling cows used to be a pretty big deal to put livestock on 18 wheels. Because when you backed up to that chute, you had to get out your toothpick or load up your snoot. Because you knew the next time you was going to lay down is when them cows put all four on the ground. We used to load in the east and head out west and drive like hell, see whose time was the best. I can remember driving for day after day and never stopping for nothing but fuel along the way. And if you looked into my eyes, well, they'd be about half a dollar size. If you saw a cow truck at a truck stop, you could tell the driver by the peel that he popped. Them chicken haulers used a little white cross, but cow haulers knew Black Molly was boss. We called her the West Coast Turnaround. Cause you took one of them while you couldn't lay down. They cause you scalp to itch, make you paranoid as hell. But I can tell you right now, you can carry the mail. And if you got some place you didn't call home, you just got out your rag. What guys do on the weekends that tie their split reins? I'm your sister. I'm your sister. Oh, you're my sister. Door popper time. I'm gonna push this button and see if Raja can come find me. We're hiding behind this tree and Raja is over there. Ooh, it actually worked. Here comes the dork. Oh, he's lost. Look at him. Good boy. What's up? I know you left, but I hope you won't forgive me. I really tried to be my best when you was with me. I really tried to be my best and it got tricky. Trucking be like. Yeah, we fancy like Dollar Tree on a Monday with our tank top and our blue jeans. And we can't go home because our gas light's on and our paycheck's spent and we still owe rent, but it's over. Tell me you work in law enforcement without telling me you work in law enforcement. I'll go first. One of my best friends calls me up. He goes, what you doing today? I said, nothing. Just chilling around the house. He goes, all right, I'm going to load up some dope and I'm going to come out to your house. I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. I mean, his birthday was just yesterday, so we're going to party. Then he shows up and you realize he's a canine handler. He's just doing training. Party over. My neck was cramping, so my fitter let me lay my head on his boot. I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, bearing rebuild kit here. Oh, she is burning oil. Seems to be running good though, so we're just going to pretend we didn't see that. Click. Oh, 35 foot pounds right on the money. That's in spec. 110 foot pounds. Perfect. Gonna get the old farmer's nut fucker in here real quick. That's fine. Hmm. I'm sure this is gonna do something. 
just, yep, that's good. Get it all over. Yep. Click. Perfect. She's mint. When your shift partner wants a pursuit. Note to self, pallets, T-posts, and plywood will not keep a restless pregnant sow from getting to where she wants to be. These were all in place when I left this morning, came back this evening, and she's lifted them up with her shovel face and spent the day on the other side with her boyfriend. Uh, in positive note, that means that she is feeling a little more restless than normal, and that is a good sign moving toward piglets. Yo, what the fuck? Ain't that the motherfucker from Happy Wheels? What the shit? Bane and Bubs got totally different personalities. Texted him that there was water running from the pump. <laughs> what is he looking for? <laughs> Play this around a veteran SC bus driver. All right. I just fired two shots into the thing. The top one there was the first shot. And that one was the second shot. There's... Uh, <laughs> The exit hole, hang on the back. And guess what? It caught every bit of that lead. No ricochet. For all you southern boys out there going to back me up on this, but how many times did we hear growing up, oh, drink this and put hair on your chest, or eat this and put hair on your back? Where's the shit to put hair on the top of your head? I'm asking for a friend. That man off of the road That spot nobody knows Park the truck and we take our run Does it even smoke? Let's check and find out. And the lion's hungry. Basically what a stop sign does is it, it tells people to stop, you know, so one car will stop, the car behind them will stop, and then that car will go, then the car behind them will stop. In this case, it'd be a motorcycle. The motorcycle, after that car goes, will come up and stop, and, you know, so on and so forth the whole way. Speaking of turn signals, I didn't see one bike with turn signal on. So congratulations. Everybody on that video was a complete moron besides the bike recording everything. Great job.
Take it slow as you leave me Don't you go home this evening with someone You're acting like it's me And I will try my hardest, darling, to wait Well, we can't sit here forever, can we, brother? We're just gonna have to rock and roll a little bit down the road. Ten minutes later. Good morning, officer. How you doing? I'm all right, just trying We're to make... the guy here. Okay, I guess you don't like the tire. No, I uh, like it for a while. I was just trying to get to the tire shop up there. You know, they don't do mobile. See, uh, how much you said this stuff weigh? It's a little bit under 80. It's not super heavy. Well, you got three axles down. Well, I only put the last one down to take pressure off the one that popped. Because I've been waiting there all night. You got your bill late? Yeah. Where's, the, where's over there? Wait for another officer to come out so we can stop driving to make it easier for you to get out of here. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. An old man touched my belt buckle last night. Old as in late 50s. I'm a server and a western style belt buckle is required. The one I normally wear is an upside down long horse. Because has red river rivalry. He kept coming after I physically backed away. Then his wife proceeded to laugh and take a picture of my southern area. All I wanted to know was what they wanted to drink. I wonder if they'll touch this if I paint a blue stripe on it. Send it. Put him up to the sun down. You know I ain't not around it. No matter what time or town, I can't get you gone. Turn a bar outside. Right, so the, on the key fob, there's two buttons, one on the right, one on the left. The one on the right unlocks and locks the door, and the one on the left is the one that actually starts the engine. So you press it once, and it starts the battery, but you gotta press it one more time, and then the engine will actually start, and you don't have to press the brake. That's how it works. Scratch it. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Daddy's gonna be pissed. Just like that, my brand new helicopter wrapped in plastic came in. Must be hard enough to back up a truck, but then with a helicopter on top of it. Woo! That's more than probably four million dollars sitting there. Smarter, not harder.
from our new Shipbox Special line of tools, check out the Getter Looser. Available in standard or standard. Danger! Keep hand and feet away! Well, how the fuck am I supposed to rebuild the carburetor? When I was cleaning up from work on the car yesterday, I noticed my 18 millimeter gear wrench was gone. Couldn't find it anywhere. I had all the tools in the back of the truck yesterday. Couldn't even find it. Had the bright idea of looking underneath the car. And guess where it was? Surprised it held on. On today's episode of Customer States, Customer States, right wheel locked up, will not drive, and it was towed in. Definitely there. All right, let's see what the problem is. Whoop! Thank you, missing a brake pad there, buddy. When you have class, but that shitty duck hunt was more important. Priorities. When you get told you're on the today convoy with no AC instead of the 10 hour bus with AC. How about no halter at all? Since y'all have I'm such a problem with the mind. last video. Oh, and this trailer isn't Try hooked to, to a truck either. So we're coming up on a trailer and we got to move let's say we need to move it 900 pounds that's typically about three holes right well we got our trailer tandem pin and it's got one hole before the frame and it's an empty space so let's count three holes one two three let's hang her right in there and when it comes back that crowbar will hit on the frame and leave us at the first hole there. Let's pull it and get on our way. Okay, so I rolled forward just a hair here after I hit. This old style trailer has a slant, so it hits a little hard and you rock away. But either way, when it comes done, when it comes back, you hit, you stop just like you would hit your trailer tandem, plus back, release your handle. Worst case scenario, you're a little bit off and as soon as you pull up to release your crowbar, you're in the hole you need. Them motherfuckers right there are about ready to get pissed off. Run. At that motherfucker right there. Come on. That taxi has lights on top. Oh, Not a bitch. taxi. Get out the way. Mom, he fucked up. He's going to jail. That's for Denny's for my last meal. <laughs> Listening to the radio this morning, headed to a barrel race, and they are doing call ins. And the question is, what is something that your significant other does not know that would ruin the relationship? And of course, somebody from my neck of the woods called in, and I was like, oh, this is cool. I might know this person and theirs was that they had been sleeping with their significant other's mother and sister for the first year of the relationship so that sounds about right hey quick death on tip oh, let's go all right so if you take your dang pig panel in right here and you take a clip on dove decoys it's supposed to clip onto a fence or tree clip them on here you have another spot for your dove to land. Looks like there's more dove on the ground. Easier to go. You can take that, cut it up, stick it in your bucket, or carry it home. But there's your tip of fasting. Part 1. My truck before a tree fell on it.
We will see if this hurricane does its job in part two. Well, some bitch. We've been doing it wrong the whole time. Ten year olds figured it out. Check this out. Look at how she walks. DOT pulled me over and asked, hey, why'd you run the way station? You saw it was open, why why didn't you stop? I was like, why would I stop? I'm not driving a commercial vehicle. This truck identifies as a motherfucking Prius. He looked at me, he was like, let me see your permit and logbook. I was like, what's a logbook? I don't have no logbook. It's a Prius. What did I just tell you? Well, long story short, uh, I need someone to come pick me up. I'm in jail. Am I the only one who does this to save a million trips to the garage? What it's like owning a V8 in 2021. Money, 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 money. What? There's your tip for your deer hunters. Built a shooting house out of slabs, bought from the sawmill. Bought a 5,000 pound bundle for 75 bucks. We sealed it with the hydraulic fluid I had left over when I changed the hydraulic fluid in my tractor. You see how good it sealed it up and how pretty the color is. People say I got a drinking problem That ain't no reason to stop People saying that I've hit rock bottom Some days you're the cause of the safety meeting And then other days you're the only guy they'll call to do dumb shit Babe, 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 babe. Quick, call 911. Right. Two girls are fighting over me and the ugly one is winning. It's the guts and it's the glory. A hundred stripes, a hundred stories It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July These are the pre-installed vaults or grave liners at Florida National Cemetery. See the headstones? Now they are double depth and now what the cemetery does is they come and open six new graves for the new services they actually have that day. They place this caskets as you see here and then they will close that entire section and then move to the new section the next day so family members have a chance to come and visit their loved ones who have just been buried now if they are doing a second interment obviously they would go and place the person where they're supposed to be our neighbors saw we were having a party this weekend so they decided to go put up signs that say keep off private property no trespassing don't park here so my dad went and bought his own signs and put them out as well got fired today. Who needs a forklift operator? What is it?
doesn't it say? GSP? How does that even compare to a lab? Them fucking dogs can't handle the cold. Maybe upland, but not waterfowl, not with ice. Good luck with that one, bud. You might be from Appalachia if your granny ever had to give you hell about going in the woods barefoot because you might get chiggers. If you ever had chiggers, you know why your granny gave you hell. My girl says I spend too much money on hunting gear And I got too much ammo, she don't like me hunting deer Listen to me baby before you go and complain Cause I'm about to break down Why hunting is a good thing Listen to me Rednecks need camo Camo costs money And every shotgun box keeps the economy running If we ain't out there gunning butts They'll end up run over by trust If we don't stock up now The economy crashes down So enjoy your deer jerky and say thanks Hunting is a good thing I don't know if you can see, but this kid, my second born, I love him so much. He's getting ready for the day's work ahead. And as you can see, there's no other employees here just yet. Just him. The funny part is, most cattle guards have this angled piece of metal on the side to support the frame going into the fence. And there's a lot of trucks and so few cars that I've seen in places like Wyoming that have used it as a ramp to wedge themselves. When your diver says he can't see what he's doing, so you make sure he can't. I'm never surprised anymore by all the places that honeybees find to make a home. I'm always a little bit nervous when I'm rescuing bees and I have to tear things apart because I don't want to cause too much damage. So it helps when the homeowner helps me to destroy things. This was the first bit of honeycomb that we found. This wood was in pretty bad shape, so it probably needed to be replaced anyway. The queen was really healthy, and these bees had been raising a lot of babies. Thankfully, there wasn't too much honey in there. It could have gotten really messy. So then I cut out sections of the nest to place into the new hive. I used a little bit of smoke to encourage the bees to move toward the box. And they started moving in. I never did see the queen but she went inside all on her own. At dusk they were almost there and by dark they were all inside. Yeah, so this customer uh, came in said uh, they got a rattling issue going on in their engine. So uh, we're gonna take the front cover off and check out the chains. Got the intake manifold off and the valve covers, and now we're gonna start working down, get these pulleys and stuff off, and then get this front cover off and find out what is causing the issue. All right, got the front cover off. Now let's lift the car up and see what's in there. All right, we got our lifted up. Now let's see what the issue was. Got that sound bitch in my fucking cooler? Where'd you catch that big motherfucker at? He's there at your house. Was he? Yeah. Here. 
When your friend dumb as fuck. Warning, do not use a coolant system sealing additive as it would plug the filter. Oh, oh shit, that's what, oh my bad. Damn it, that's what we did wrong. Anyways, it'll be all right. John Deere said they'd have it up and running by tomorrow. I think we'll be just fine. Ranch horses and their special talents. Chief steals the other horse's grain. Chili always smiles for the camera. Comanche gets stuck trying to escape. Houdini tries to steal your food. Whiskey pretends he's part fish. Gary likes to come inside the Wrangler room. Holly gets stoned at work. Gringo ding-dong ditches. Randy expert level yoga. Horseshoe keeps them from kicking, sir. When, are, when is our power going to be back on? Well, you see here, ma'am, that transformer is it, not supposed to be like this, but be like this. But listen here, I can fix it. It's going to cost you about 250. Okay, we're going to get her fixed so I can have you on this evening, but it's going to cost you about 250. That 12 gauge off shell the off the tee. God damn, you suck, boy. Keep your eye on it. Holy shit! <laughs> Mr. Red, White, and Blue Lay down, here's a line Mr. Red, White, and Blue For these stars and stripes Hey From the fields of Damn it, Kevin. Hold I'm Tommy. Brand new can. You hold that. You said don't touch it. I didn't touch it. I shot it. Two different. Hey, hey, two different things, man. I said I was sorry. Come on. Hey, why don't you just hang around for a little bit? <laughs> Get in, Dad. We're going driving. No, I'll be driving. No, it's, it's cool. I got this. You're not even facing the right way. No, it's cute. Just watch. I'm not gonna watch. The car's on, bud. Get in the back seat. Oh no, I'm good. I'm. I'll, I'll drive. No, I told you you're not driving. Dad, get in the back seat. And I'm gonna ask you again. Part two. I am currently at the Chevy truck aisle right now. Check out this 1998 Chevy K1500. Looks like this one originally came from up north. As you can see, the cab corners and the rockers are rusted on the truck. Let me show you what the other side looks like real quick. Tailgate's in pretty nice shape. Obviously could use some paint. Yep, there's what the other side looks like. And let's see what else is in the yard for Chevy trucks. Got this 84 Chevy S10. I actually posted this one last time I was here as well, but I'm honestly surprised they haven't crushed this one yet because there's literally nothing left on this one. 98 C1500, 1993 C1500. This looks like a pretty solid truck. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, square body steering wheel. Not nearly as sticky as the one that's in my dually. I'm actually gonna pull this one out. All right, I just pulled the steering wheel out of this truck and let's see what else is in the yard. I already showed pretty much all of these trucks last time I was here. But I figured I'd show them again. Got the 65 Chevy. 
with basically nothing left. Another OBS, a 2003 quarter ton, 91 Chevy, 93 Chevy, 96 Chevy, and let's head to another part of the yard now. I figured I'd show you some of the Suburbans and Tahoes real quick. 1995 Chevy Suburban, two wheel drive. As you can see, the roof's rotted on it. Down here, we got a 2000 Z71 Tahoe, limited edition. As you can see, the interior is pretty much gutted in this thing. 1992 Chevy Suburban. It's got a pretty nice visor on it. If somebody wants to grab that. Hood's in really bad shape on it. But other than that, the truck's actually pretty solid. 99 Chevy Tahoe that was sideswiped. Got a 99 Suburban and a 1997 GMC Yukon. All right, now I'm at the Dodge truck section. Three out of the four trucks that are here, I already posted on TikTok. But I figured I'd show them again, like this 88 Dodge D50. Got this 85 D100 right here, D150. I was going to pull this fender off, but it's got a small dent, so I'm just going to leave it for now. I might come back for it, but I don't know. Got this 91 D250. The bed on this thing is immaculate. If my Dodge was here, I would actually buy this bed. Here's the other side of the bed, and here's what the bed floor looks like. And here's what's left of an 87 Dodge D100. That one's got a nice hood, though, but I ain't buying it. Come back for part three. Just got all set up here in the stand. Been seeing a giant buck the last couple evenings. I think tonight's gonna be the night. Ooh, I can feel it. Man, you're out of your mind if you think I'm gonna come walking by your tree stand, boy. I see you up there with that Walmart camouflage. If your jacket didn't cost at least tree 50, there ain't no way you're gonna get a shot of me, old boy. Well, I guarantee you can you tell I've been pretty hot. I'm the first to clock in and the last to leave, and I ain't never had a problem rolling up my sleeves of this morning. Even though I have my CDL, it is not required to do hot shot. Here's what y'all look for. Open up your driver door. Find the GVWR, which on this truck is 14,000. Next, go to your trailer. Find the GVWR on your trailer, which is 12,000 pounds. And add those two numbers together, and they should equal to 26,000 pounds or less. I thought it was bad when people rear end me and get this. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the Radiator Retriever 5000. It could be yours for only three easy, low, low payments of $49.95. All you gotta do is find someone who's tailgating you and slam on them brakes, and then boom, get yourself a new radiator. You can bring that radiator down to the junkyard, scrap that thing for like 10, 15 bucks a piece. Extra money if you get a condenser with it. I know times are tough, but you're gonna get that money. Yep. yep. Well, I'm a cop. Oh, <laughs> Why isn't John at work today? He's in a hospital. But I saw him dancing with some chick last night. <laughs> His wife saw him too. Alright, come on. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. I'm fucking trying. It's not working. you do this to your tape measure, let me show you why that's bad. Don't worry, that's junk. So I got everybody's favorite Lufkin here. Yeah, nice black spot there. So all your tape measures slide back and forth a little bit right here. Now the amount of slide it has is supposed to be the exact same as the thickness of this tongue. So it pulls out when you pull against something. And then if you were to push against something, it pushes in. That way you get the same measurement across the end. Every time you snap it, like I did in the first one, 
it'll elongate these holes and eventually we'll give you an off measurement at the end. You can go ahead and grab that line, it's clear. How some of these drivers sound on the CV. <laughs> What? When you're a mechanic and your girl won't tell you what's wrong. Country boys, let's confuse the city kids. Yeah, sometimes we laugh. Let's see what we can do. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, cowboy, you left something behind that a Mustang sitting in the field and nobody else but you could ride. What you doing there? Uh, I get some beer. What kind of beer is that? Uh, some bush light apple. Is that good? I don't know. Just find out. Man, I'm gonna have to try one after you. That tastes like <laughs> shit! God damn! <laughs> Fuck that beer! Oof. Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office has some awful fitment. Look at that. Officer Dunn, when you and your girlfriend fight, do you sleep on the couch or in your wheel gap? Oh, Deputy Dunn, and I got somewhere for you. Come on, bud. Shoot. Get in the back. Hey, guys. I'm going to take a moment to show you guys this guy's sick new Martinez hammer. What do you have to say about the hammer? Got ass. Hey, bro. Come check out this badass place. I went and scouted some land this morning. Nah, bro, it's public. You gotta come check it out, dog. There ain't nobody out here. Nice, bro, nice. Is it legal to hunt there? Oh, I don't know. Whoa. Well, Just check the hole. Come on. The yellow dipstick. Baby, check the hole. Come on. Climb. Come on. Check the hole.
Good talking, buddy. Good talking. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy, Bobby. Good boy. Good boy. He's like, I haven't been Levi in forever. Yeah, and I'm keep going. so. Corn, it's ready. Get to the top of. So here I am, sitting in my new 2012 Ram 3500. Just got this about a month ago, and I'm uh, sitting here in the parking lot, and I see this little thing dangling down. What in the heck is this thing? There's a switch under my dash. I, I don't know what it does. It's kind of loose. It's hanging here. It just... What the hell? That's not good. Have you been to our courthouse? We got a big oak tree out front that's probably 100 years old. In my opinion, for what that's worth, they all three should be hanging in that tree. Ugly small rental car, part two. Great to go to Utah. Oh, man. I love this place. I never even met this. Oh, hold up. What is that? Ah, uh, is that our Uber? That can't be our Uber. Uh, there is no way I'm getting into that thing. Hey, you guys ready to go? Come on. We're going to try this. Hop on in, man. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Let's go. There you go. We'll see you at one time. Got a little true story to tell you. Probably get me banned from TikTok, but I don't really give a shit. Go into a car dealership today. Got a brand new Chevy Silverado Z71, four wheel drive, prettiest thing on the lot. And I'm standing there looking at it. And this fella comes walking out there, prissing across the parking lot in his high heels and his dress and his makeup. And he says, can I help you, sir? I said, well, maybe you can. I said, I'd like to purchase this four-wheel drive right here. He says, sir, that truck is $82,000. I said, all right, fine. Hook me up. I want to buy it. Well, how will you be paying for it today? I said, I'm going to pay cash. Shit. Let's, let's get it did. Let's do the paperwork. want to get it done. So we go in the office, sit down, he fires up his computer and he gets all the paperwork out and we signing paperwork and we doing this. He says, would you like an extended warranty? I said, hell yeah, put it on there. I said, I don't care how much it costs, put it on there. So all said and done, well, the truck comes to over $84,000 with everything. I mean, it's got everything. And he looks at me, of course his name tag says Cynthia. And he looks at me and says, uh, sir, will you be writing a check? I said, shit, no, I got the money right here in my pocket. So I pull out $84,000, which to me was 84. It was actually $84, but I take it out and I throw it over there on the counter. And he picks it up, and he counts and looks at it and says, Sir, that is not $84,000. I said, Oh, hell yes, it is. I said, It identifies as $84,000. He said, I assure you, sir, that is not $84,000. I said, Well, you ain't no girl either, Clyde, but it ain't stopped you from wearing dresses and fucking makeup and high heels, had it. I said, Now give me the keys to my truck. Rear wheel drive. All right. Over here. All 
Tie his cranks all the way. Thinking you can't get your shit towed. Okay, buddy. Here I go again, straight up out the motel Hop my guitar out of a pine sap jail If I quit, I'll miss a roll and the dice Couldn't pass up the red beans and rice Sing it, oh my, my See them girls shake their ass underneath the sunrise Oh my Superboat My work in the middle of the night Try to figure out what to do And I know now that I need you in my life yeah, Just, just like you always knew Cause that's what you're at I was a fool and I cut you like a knife So I got no right Try to pet him. <laughs> okay, 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 relax, relax. Good boy. You got it. <laughs> Fucking asshole boss just told me to grow up. And then he's like, what, you got nothing to say? You speechless? No. It's fucking hard to talk with 45 gummy bears in your mouth, you prick. Jesus. When you feel like he man right, for holding the socket this. still. Uh, you told me I had 40 foot pounds, right? So how come I can spin it in my hand? I, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't seem like I should be able to hold 40 foot pounds. Make it make sense. All right, guys. So some of you may go onto the snap-on truck every once in a while and hold the socket and determine that your tool has a loss of power. Well, that's not proper. Your actual palm is going to absorb all that impact energy or any of that rotational energy. Just to show you that, we have our CT9010, 325 foot-pounds of a rated breakaway. There's a video circling around out there, too, of it breaking a bolt or a nut away at 450 foot-pounds. 24 millimeter, 3 eighths drive socket, and I can hold that guy pretty still. So not a good determination of the power of your tool. If you know me, you know. One thing I don't fuck with. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir. I don't fuck with them motherfuckers. Don't fuck with them. Fuck you. Fuck you. I like you dead, boys. Caught him. So the Amish can't drive a truck because it has rubber tires on it. But that $90,000 Bobcat's got rubber tracks on it. Don't make any sense to me, guys. These are my people. This is my life. So if you got a Chevy of this body style, you pull this back, your truck was named when it was built. Peggy D. Old Peggy. Get out of the truck. Come on. Let's go. Get out of the truck. God almighty.
Get out, you fucker. The old Gatorade ball coming back out. I'll launch it at his ass. Get your ass up. Get up. Come on, get out of the truck. Get out. Stupid ass. You son of a bitch. Him on fans post me barbed wire. My Colorado hide needs a ball on fire. Turn it up, turn the night on. It's seven man, seven point on real strong. Reason but knocking back with them tailgate hits swing like June on cash. Like a runaway train down a one. An investment a hunter should have when taking an illegal buck on accident. Here it is. This is my patented Bubba's at a time build a buck kit. Let me show you what's involved here. You see, you've got a bunch of these laying around your garage. You simply convert them, snap them together, and you can take a few of these, stick them on here. Let me give you a demonstration. A few of these. And look at there. So this is a mechanical siren, and here's what it sounds like. Now let's take it apart and see how it works. So, here it is. Oh, man. All right, I guess we'll go through the components. It's pretty simple. These are just a couple of covers. This is called the rotor. Just the cap, the fasteners. Here's the base or the stand for it. Here's the stator, another cover. Electric motor, some wiring for it. And we have a brake right here. Let's get into it. So I'll be using my workbench here just because it'll be easier to show and explain. So we'll just pretend the workbench is the fire. Well, I mean, hold on a second. There we go. Now we got a fire truck. So we're going to start off with the simple parts, the base. I'm going to bolt it to my workbench. You'll see later how that's going to come in here. Now, the reason for the big hole in the center is because that's the hole that the wires are going to come up through. They're going to come up in through the base, through the bottom here, and out here to connect up to our motor. So let's bolt that down. Now, I'm sure you all have noticed I sanded away the paint on these three bolt holes, and I'm sure a lot of people know why I did that, but for those of you who don't, we'll get into that later. All right, so we got it mounted to our truck. Let's go ahead and put the motor on. But this motor is actually bad, but we do have a replacement motor. Brand new, spins nice and easy. So let's mount it up. So here's our new motor. It just has two mounting screws here in this cradle part. And there's these threaded holes in the motor right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and bolt that up. All right, so my part one video, I'm in the middle of editing and it's already getting pretty long. So I'm gonna make it a two part. So stay tuned for that. Take it home, 
boy, come on. Say code 45 and two zigzags. Baby, that's all we need. We can go to the park after dark, smoke that tumbleweed. As the marijuana burn, we can take our turn. Singing them dirty rap songs. Stop and hit the ball like Cheech and Chong. This hell takes from here to Hong Kong. Ooh, ooh. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell third. Second penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. I just popped the molly and I think it's be my third. My cousin invented this new product. He's put everything he has in this idea. I see it on a telescope. I'm the same way as why we always argue back and forth. I swear she my poison. Y'all can help him reach his dreams. She the noose around my neck. I couldn't ask for a better rope. All right, you guys. This is biodiesel. That's what they say. Look how it's yellow. See that? It's yellow. Seen yellow fucking diesel in my life. Don't get it. Oh. See what happens. Hey, what the hell? believe this or not i had a guy he said uh if you drive trucks that are 20 years old you are poor as shit and you need to get a life and get a job well <laughs> oh thank again but